Nordic combined, the decision who wins is made in the cross-country race in the majority of competition formats. As one-tenth of a second can decide who wins and who loses, accurately measuring the racing time of each athlete is of the utmost importance. This is the domain of the company, Swiss Timing. Transponders are the main timing instrument used for the cross-country races. Two transponders working on a radio frequency identification basis are attached to each athlete's legs and emit a unique code that is detected by radio receivers located at strategic points. The starting line to detect early starts, the intermediate timing points to keep track of the race, and the finish line to determine the winner and positions. All times are immediately telecast to TV and also to FIS live timing so that people at the venue and worldwide are able to see the times and final results in real time. To make sure the results are correct even in case of a system failure, there are two backup systems. An HD camera, which films every single athlete finishing, and a system with photo cells and a manual push button. Of course, all of these systems have to be installed in advance. One full day is needed to assemble all the instruments, pull meters of cable, set up the timing points, and get the technology up and running. But the Swiss timing work doesn't finish there. If the TV is broadcasting a competition, Swiss timing is also responsible for all the graphics you see on TV.